Hey guys, um, so in the news today you're going to see lots and lots of things about a BMA meeting which has been held by the council. Now I'm not a member of the BMA council, I'm not a member of the BMA negotiating team, I'm just a member. Uh, but one thing that I'm quite concerned about is the BMA seem to have, have, have had more leaks coming from it than you could think is a mistake and they've got more holes in them than a sieve. So one thing that you've got to question is, is this thing being set up to sabotage doctors in, in the media and in the press? And we've got a situation now where the BMA Council have actually voted 16 by 14, 16 votes to 14 votes to ratify stri strike action by junior doctors. Um, and initially there were three phases, a week in September, October, November, and then possibly in December as well. Following negotiations with, or discussions and warnings from the Department of Health and hospitals saying that the first set of strike action in September was not safe, it was cancelled, and that was fair enough. However, the concern being is now there is talk that the BMA Council are going to say, well, actually, we're not going to back junior doctor strike action at all. And if one of the major leaks that we need to think about, we need to consider, connections weeks, so I might have to go in a sec, but one of the major things that we're going to have to consider is back in April, May, when the junior doctor committee were negotiating with uh, the Department of Health, the imposition of this contract, when Jeremy Hunt was going to force this contract on doctors, was paused. Now, what happened then is there was a week of negotiations and then it was extended for another week and around that kind of time there was a WhatsApp leak and this doesn't sound very exciting but basically members of the negotiating team um, were embarrassed by the government and this WhatsApp leak has been mentioned in the press as well and they're embarrassed and they basically said that um, you know there were certain things mentioned in that conversation and I mentioned it to the BMA a, a member of the BMA media team when they came and visited the roadshows and they said the BMA has undergone a process of hurt and we need to under uh, we need to leave it, we need to undergo a process of healing. Because what I said to them was it's better just to release that and get it out in the open. Sadly that hasn't happened. So watch with interest developments today. Uh, really question, tweet the BMA, tweet the people on the BMA council, the doctors that there are. I can't find them at the moment. I know one BMA council member is Dr Hamid Khan who's been fairly supportive of junior doctors. But there are other members in this BMA council who I'm not sure who they are. Um, Dr Chris Day yesterday came out on Facebook and said that uh, the way that Mark Porter, Dr Mark Porter handles the BMA and organises it is shambolic, which was interesting. And he's now actually on the, on the negotiating committee, on the JDC, uh, which is a committee that supports junior doctors. So please bear with us. It seems like doctors are fighting on two fronts now, the government and the BMA, which is a problem um, because we need a strong union behind us to, to, to support us and help us. But uh, yeah, I better go because Signal's going to go, but I wanted to put this out just to explain things a little bit um, before the news breaks today. Probably that the strikes are called off or some kind of change, but we'll see. All right, cheers guys. Take care. See you soon.